Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is Fluke Fridays episode number 123. And what we're going to do is unbox a brand new insulation tester from Fluke that is new to the Americas. So let's jump into it. I'll unbox it and then we'll talk about some of the features and uh, what why somebody might buy this versus the other insulation testers that are already on the market from Fluke. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna get this box open for us real quick. And your first thing you're gonna notice, this comes with a really nice uh, quasi hard case. It's kind of like a, a very firm case, but it's got some, it's not like a hard plastic either, like some of the other flute cases. When you open it up, you'll see that this case has pre-made um, sections to hold both your test leads, the mainframe, and then some of the accessories. There's the test leads. Uh, you've got your hot neutral and ground. You see here we've got a USB cable that goes from a USB mini to a USB A so you can interface with your PC. Now we look at the uh, mainframe of the 1537, kind of turning it over in our hand, just getting a feel for it. I did pull the screen protector off because I can't stand those. Um, I got all those batteries, so I thought I needed to put new batteries in. I opened it up, and it already had batteries in it. I don't know that um, yours will do this. I think I repeat myself later in the video, but um, for some reason, this one already had batteries in it and came with another eight batteries. Okay, so we got it on. I showed you the back and where to put the batteries in. It came with eight batteries, but apparently this one... Somebody already put the batteries in it, and we've got an additional eight batteries. I don't know that you're going to get that with your unit. Um, other things you're going to see, you're going to get, you're going to get uh, three test leads, and these test leads have this long piece of plastic here to really fit down into these uh, slots to make connection, and alligator clips, and test probes for each of these. Um, and you can look at the menu to try to figure out, you know, right here you can see 30 volts max. Um, I think that's for measuring voltage and this is for the actual insulation test. Now, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through some of the, the functions. So uh, one of the first things you might wanna do is do your test voltage. You might wanna change that. So you can just hit this button, test voltage, and you can see up here it changes 250, 500, 1000, 2500. Obviously Fluke has higher insulation testers, bigger boxes that go up to 10,000 uh, volts, and then smaller handheld ones that start stop at a thousand volts so this is kind of like a happy medium between them if you're looking for that uh, middle of the range voltage test if you just want to do a test you can hold the test button down for two seconds and it's going to test and you can see um, it the voltage you say which versus the voltage it actually outputs the resistance that it's giving you and then a time so you can see how long it's been under test um, you can save these, obviously, that it has memory, and then you can download that via a USB cable on the side there. Um, I'm gonna just cancel that, because we're gonna show you some other things. Uh, other readings you can look at, AC voltage, and I'm thinking right here, you're gonna do your AC voltage, um, and it looks like you wanna be pretty careful, because it just says 30 volts max. I haven't read the user manual, but I would say that you're not looking for high voltage readings here. Uh, DC voltage, obviously you can read a lot higher. And resistance. So you can do that. You can delete from memory here and navigate. Um, let's talk a little bit about the functions. So DAR or dielectric absorption rate ratio, dielectric absorption absorption ratio. So you have that, that is gonna be your, uh, at 30 seconds in a minute, and you're gonna get a test for that. And then there's polarization index, and that's gonna be at one minute and then 10 minutes, and that ratio. Um, so you've, we've had these in a lot of different instruments. This next one I really like 
you do that, it'll do both tests at the same time. Since you're going to 10 minutes, it's just going to take readings at multiple times. And it's going to give you both of those tests at, um, in one 10 minute interval, which that's kind of cool, I think. And then DD, this was new to me. I had to look this up. This is dielectric discharge test. And there's a formula or you can look it up, Google it. Um, there are things that are pass or fail on that. And you can kind of understand what that is. This is a cool new insulation tester. You can kind of see the form factor of it. It's going to be hand handheld and portable, but not one you're going to like throw in a bag, really. Uh, you can see it comes with a nice uh, case. And um, yeah, I'm hoping this is beneficial for you guys. Um, oh, there is one more function I forgot to mention. And the last function is ramp. And so ramp... Um, this is kind of cool. You change your test voltage, whatever you want. Instead of it just hitting all at once instantaneously, we uh, start this ramp and you can see it's going to increase the voltage over time. Instead of just hitting it with 2,500 volts instantly, it's going to increase over time to stress the system little by little until it gets to its max voltage and then it's going to level off. So that's kind of a cool test. You can see how long that took to get up to its full voltage. I'll take that um, test off. So now we don't have the ramp and show you. And I'll hold this down and you'll see how fast it jumps. Jumps straight to it. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if there's a particular advantage. If there is, leave something in the comments so I know. Um, but this is a new tool from Fluke. I think there's a couple different tools in this lineup. Obviously the 1537, I'm guessing there's other 1530 series. I will leave a link below to all the 1530 series insulation testers if you have any questions about that. Other than that, I hope this was uh, beneficial and we will talk next week. Have a great weekend. If you watch more than three videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like this and we'll have more content coming out. Have a Merry Christmas, but I don't get another video out before Christmas. Take care.